so guys this is the english version of my hindi video and i have also made this same video in the hindi voiceover so if you want to check that out also link is in the description area and because sometimes it's good to understand the technical topics in english itself and it is also recommended by a couple of my subscriber friends too so i am making this video in english also guys we all do know about the brain it is the fundamental part of the human to do everything means it is the most important part of our body you guys do know about that need not to talk about that but what i'm going to talk about that is as the power of the modern computer grows alongside our understanding of the human brain we move even closer of making pretty spectacular science fiction into reality Well, so imagine transmitting signals directly to someone's brain that would allow them to see, hear, feel specific sensory activity, anything. In simple term, you want to move a chair, just think and it will be done. Well, I'm not talking about magic, I'm talking about science and this technology is called brain computer interface technology well it's in prototyping it's in still testing and we are going to know each and every component of brain computer interface so guys my name is jay you are watching mac hacks let's begin and unveil that thing So guys let's talk about the brain very quickly the brain is incredible complex we all know to say that all thoughts or action are result of the simple electrical signal in the brain is a gross understatement our brain is completely filled with neurons or the brain cell which are connected to each other by the means of axon and dendrites we all did study that in initial biology classes Whenever we do any activity whether it be mental like thinking or recalling something or any physical one the neurons in the brain does work our brain is like a small battery which upholds some kind of charges which flows between these neuron which is used to signal the brain about some some activity whatever we are doing and these signal are generated due to the difference in the potential differences in the from one end to other end of the neuron and that's why due to the potential differences the charge flow from one neuron to another which indicate there is a some activity going on and uh, the brain detects that activity now guys scientists can detect those signals by brain computer interface system and can enroll these in a great benefit to humans well consider someone who can't see he is blind now consider when we are seeing a red color the signal our brain and some impulse get developed in the brain if the scientist could able to interpret the signal when we are seeing a red color and then connect a camera with the bci that is a brain computer interface with the blind person and whenever the camera looks at any red color the camera will generate a signal same signal to the brain and the blind person could see what the camera can see now i think you got a little bit of understanding what brain computer interface stands for now guys consider a person who cannot speak if we connect the brain of the person with the brain computer interface which has a reverse engineered program to convert the brain generated signal into the machine language and then connecting with a audio synthesizer or analyzer the analyzer voice can speak whatever the person wants to tell now guys getting into the technical details one of the biggest challenge of this technology the researcher face today is the basic mechanics of the interface itself that how we will manage the things the easiest and least invasive method is a set of electrodes a device known as electroencephalograph or eeg in short attached to the scalp now, the electrode can read the brain signals however the skull uh, you can say that it is a kind of insulating material blocks a lot of electrical signal and it distort what does get through so the scientists need to upgrade the technology up to the next level to get a higher resolution signal scientists can implant the electrode directly into the gray matter of the brain that is beneath the skull on the surface of the brain this allow for much more direct reception of the electrical signals and allow the electrode placement in the specific area of the brain where the appropriate signal signal are intended to be generated 
This approach has many problems however. It requires an invasive surgery to implant the electrode and device left in the brain long term tends to cause the information and um, formation of the scar tissue in the grey matter. This scar tissue ultimately blocks signal and many more things. Well, I said that it is still in prototyping. Now guys, coming on to the working of BCI and quick component review. So in short, BCI implanted that is EEG in the brain's motor area that can record the electrical signal that represent particular movement and amplify them up to bit to read by the program. A computer decodes the signal and uses them to control a computer cursor or prosthetic limb or any other requirement of the patient. As I said earlier, it's still in prototyping and research is being going on on it at intensive level and on prototyping level BCI setup does look like this. Now guys coming on to the application part of the BCI. One of the most exciting area of the BCI research is the development of the devices that can be controlled by controlling a video game just by thought is seems to be an interesting word but however there's a bigger picture device that allows severely disabled people to function independently consider a person who is paralyzed and he's on wheelchair he can easily control his wheelchair by his thought i can understand that it doesn't make any difference on his condition but it will definitely reduce its degree of dependence on others now instead of a, a robotic hand disabled user could have robotic braces attached to their own limbs allowing them to move and directly interact with the environment that means Signals could be sent to appropriate motor control nerve in the hands bypassing a damaged section of the spinal cord and allowing the actual movement of the subject's own hand. Now talking about the problem in the BCI which still left to be addressed. Well there are about 100 billion neurons in a human brain. Each neuron is constantly sending and receiving signal through a complex web of connection. There are chemical process involved as well which EEG can't pick up on. MRI could help scientists a bit in this. If the researcher are attempting to implant the electrode that would allow someone to control a robotic arm with their thoughts, they might first put the subject onto MRI and ask him to think uh, about moving their actual arm. The MRI will show which area of the brain is active during the arm movement, giving them a clearer target for the electrode placement. Also, the equipment is less than portable. BCI still require a wired connection to the equipment. But like all technology, this will surely become lighter and more wireless in the future. Also, it is expected to be an expensive one and cost cutting is also a priority. Well, that's for all. I hope that you understood the concept behind the brain computer interface. It's still in prototyping. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any query or comment, please write it down in the comment below. And if you like the video, please do like the video. And if you like the channel, consider subscribing and share. If you want, this is my hacks over and out. And press the bell icon, please. And I hope you all have a great day.